Took about three or four weeks for these to be delivered, and when I received them, I got them in the shop here, and lo and behold, they don't quite fit. The dovetail is just a bit tight. I bought the Genwin Quick Change Tool Post kit. Uh, Got it on eBay. I think I paid about $32 delivered for this, and I've gotten really good service out of it. But I didn't have enough tool holders in the Genwin set, and I was constantly having to change tools uh, back and forth. So I decided to get some more tool holders, and I found these on eBay. And they were, when I bought them, they were $4 a piece with free shipping from China. So here's the one that came with the Genwin, and here's the one that I bought aftermarket so to speak and boy they look to be functionally identical they are for the same size tools uh, the construction is the same now on this one I put cap screws in here uh, and so I thought this thing would fit perfectly but when I received these things and brought them into the shop uh, I came in and lo and behold they just have a little bit of interference with this dovetail. So they have a slightly different dovetail cut as compared to the one that was supplied with the Genwin kit. So let's take a look at what's going on with What that. I found was that uh, the original uh, tool holders supplied by Genwin have about a 56 degree taper in this dovetail versus you know 60 i always thought 60 was the nominal number but it's 56 and the tool post itself is just about like that now the ones that are supplied here aftermarket uh, they're pretty consistently above 60 and uh, you know i don't have a detailed uh, metrology set up for this sort of thing but uh, just eyeballing it I can see that this one is something, it's right at about 65. And so they all fall in the range of what I would say is 62 to 65 in that area. Now what's interesting is that the opening on the new ones is actually a little bit larger than the opening on the original. So I don't want to open this up any further. So it looks like uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to take this dovetail, 60 degree dovetail, and I'm just going to take out this little bit of meat on uh, each one of the new ones here. And I'll just kind of touch it up until they fit. So uh, just a word to Dave M. Uh, he recommended what dovetail cutter to use, and I bought that. I had that thing the next day. So I'm going to put that in the mill, and we're going to touch these up. Still a little tight. Yeah, it's still tight. Good. And good. And it's kind of interesting. You got to check both dovetails because it turns out that uh, one of these is tighter than the other. So it had to be opened up just a little more so that it can clear that larger one. Now, I recognize that not everybody has a mill and dovetail cutters and so forth. So for this one, um, I just use a jeweler's file on it. I, put, I just put it in the vise and just kind of carefully uh, open this up and Took me about 15 minutes or so uh, going back and forth, but uh, I was able to just file this thing down a little bit, and it uh, is probably just as good as the other ones, if not better. So uh, don't fret if you don't have a mill. Just get yourself a little file, and you can open this thing up. Thanks for watching. <laughs>